we move on to the next topic that is the 18th topic it is about graphing graphing inequalities now this is about square root functions as you can see over here we have equations like this y is less than root of x minus phi y is greater than root of x plus 6 and different functions i will tell you the shortcut method in detail you might have already learned it in uh, classes there is various ways table method equation method very basic equal to you can do the table and calculator solve it and everything but now i will tell you a method how you can easily find the graphing because table method all those take a lot of time they're not difficult they're simple but these tricks of graphing will be helpful to you all the time not only this grade next grade msat exam all the time so that's why answer is this how first of all you need to understand what is this dotted line and what is basically a straight line whenever you have the inequality like this less than greater than you will have a dotted line like this dotted lines whenever it's less greater than or equal to less than or equal to it will be a straight line solid line that's what we call it now i'll just show you over here see we have greater than or equal to it's all solid okay now then what else now since over here there is greater than or less than it will be a whole it won't be a, a you know point so you can see this uh, circle the reason being if i tell x is greater than phi the value phi is not included you can see this phi is not included so it's a whole basically you can see the hollow space because you're not including phi whereas if it's greater than or equal to it's a point because that value is included say x is over here minus three minus three point is included so that is the thing so 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 much of basic things now what is the domain of this value how do you find where is the x value so y is less than root of x minus phi find the x just whatever is inside the root x minus phi equals zero so x is equal to phi okay so it starts at phi that's good you know that now uh other things that is the domain that means all the x values are less than phi uh, sorry greater than phi that, i will tell you uh, what is greater than phi but now you understood x is equal to phi so it will start at phi it will be the right side or left side but it must start over here this is very important now let's just look over here x will be equal to negative six so you can see the point will be over here now what about the other things here it is downwards i will tell you uh, it's very simple because it's minus sign but how do you get this whatever is inside this must be equated equal to minus three that's why it's minus three and over here you might have guessed it by now it'll be plus six so it's like that so you can easily find out looking at your equations you can easily eliminate so many options isn't it now what is this we're dealing with square root functions it's graphing square root function why now you must know if we have y equals root of x it will always start from this function if it is minus it will go downwards that is it now knowing so much will make a lot of difference because all now you do not need to know that because all are square root functions it's very basic and there's one more important thing that is graphing which side is the inequality down or up this is very important take a guess y is less than and y is greater than what is the difference always in general for math whenever we tell less than symbol it is downwards always you can try this whenever you have less than symbol it's downwards greater than y is greater than it will be upwards that's the only thing so now from whatever i just now told you can easily understand now here what is the x value here x value will be equal to phi and we know square root function is always going more than it'll always go like this okay so you must remember it will always start and go like this but it's only less than so it'll be dotted line going upwards then we know it is less than so all the region below it not not left not up only downside of x is from x phi onwards at phi you draw this it should be dotted 
here it's greater than so all the value above it is shaded so you can easily find the correct answer now let's see the next type over here how would you see it's again same see you don't need to worry about these values beside it that four and everything it'll just in decrease the thickness or you know the way it is uh the the thickness basically you know it's not thickness it's basically you know uh i'm not able to get the exact word anyways basically what i'm trying to say is now imagine this is a, a square root function over here this number just changes the yeah like the positioning you know it'll be the down it'll make it thinner or thicker that's basically it you know and you do not need to worry about it if you find all the other things you will directly get the answer so now over here again from this point this is a whole uh, not a whole it is a point why because it is greater than or equal to in greater than or equal to only the point of graphs which is greater upside will be answer it's less than it will be downwards that is easy then here it is a solid line why because it's greater than or equal or less than or equal it's always solid line where does the x value start just equate this to zero and you will get the starting point this is more than enough now others other times i was always telling for graphing just take any x value any x value and check the answer it must be the same yes you can do that obviously over here you need the calculator and once you have the calculator take x value i will take say for example 4 instead of x i need to put 4 over here square root 4 plus 3 the answer is negative 10.8 let's check yes negative 10.58 yes absolutely that is correct but why you won't get the correct answer i mean you need to know the other information is because you don't know where it is shaded the shaded is given from here so this is it or there are other methods like testing a value you need to choose a random point in the solution region put it in the equation both the sides x and y and it must be correct and if it is correct yes that is true otherwise it's false there are plenty of methods but which i told you just now is much easy and the reason for me to tell that specific thing is this will be very helpful in the coming grades as well so this is a very important way so you can easily sort out any sort of graph whatever i just now told is standardized for all the graphs okay but now you're dealing only with square root so it's very easy all the graphs will be like this you should know the basic drawing of the graph and then see where it is greater than or less than it'll be either up or down see whether it's uh, this equal to sign is there or it is only greater than or equal to it will be dotted and whole or the otherwise it will be solid and a point and then you can see the x value from this whatever is inside square root remember for the x value where it starts over here as well it is always whatever is inside now okay there is minus over here i will tell you about that as well which i just realized okay this is the last two so now here what is inside the square root will give you the x value it'll be x is equal to 2 is it correct yes absolutely it's greater than it's shaded upwards okay this is the solution region fine because it's greater than or equal to it's a solid line and a point but what is this minus 12 whatever is there adding or subtracting if it is plus 5 or minus 5 your y axis changes now since it is minus 5 over here this does not start on the axis it will be moving downwards by how many units five units this is five let's count one two three four and five it's negative five here it will be negative 12 yes it's correct if it was plus 12 then it would be upwards like this at plus 12 that is the y-axis part now you can see over here there is nothing so it's plus zero or minus zero so it's always on the axis isn't it so you can compare everywhere over here it's on the axis of x because y value is zero only when there is an extra term like this you need to compare this so if there is extra term it's really easy for you because you can easily cancel out the other options so this is how we do for this last part now that's all the graphs i hope these tricks are useful because uh, though i have told it many uh, i mean elaborated elaborated it only few points are required i'll repeat it now quickly the symbol whatever is inside the square root if anything is added or subtracted from the symbol you will see the line and the point how it is and from the symbol also the solution region will be demarked 
that's it so this is how you can solve the graphing in the next topic we will move to the uh, 19th question